will be back. That is the word from organizers of Sunday's America First rally on the Harlow Bridge in Eugene. As KZI 9 News reporter Michael Severn found out today, police say it cost them a lot of man hours and some residents are hoping they go somewhere else. I was wondering when it would end. I was glad it was only a few hours. Carlin Rents lives right down the road where supporters of President Trump and counter protesters clashed on Sunday. She says the demonstrators could have come up with a more productive way to voice their opinions, one that didn't turn the area into a traffic nightmare. The traffic situation wasn't good. My husband ended up riding his bike. But this America First rally may not be the last in our area. We haven't got dates set, but it will be in the near future. And it will be more than one. Carol Leak, the founder of Oregon Women for Trump, says while she's from the Portland area, her group has a lot of supporters in Lane County. They want to participate, but they don't, they can't do it on their own, so they want us to help them do it. Leak tells me she didn't bother to get a permit from Eugene or Springfield because according to her, she didn't need one. During the rally and protest, police from Eugene and Springfield were on hand to keep the peace. Police say one person was arrested, but no injuries were reported. A spokeswoman for the Eugene Police Department tells me they worked overtime to keep the peace. They don't have an exact dollar figure yet, but one woman tells me she hopes this doesn't become a regular occurrence. That's what the police are for, to respond to things like this. And um, I think once in a while that's okay, as long as it's not happening you know, all the time and costing them too much. Melinda McLaughlin with EPD says responding to calls like this also impacts their response to other calls. Leak says they notified police before the rally began and says she'll let them know ahead of time if they hold any more. I hate to take them away from, you know, other things that they deem to be more important, but this is what taxpayers paid for. In Eugene, I'm Michael Severin, KEZI 9 News. And we have some new information tonight on 